Hey guys, it's Derry, Sandwich Carpenter for the Rainbow Witches Colorful Cottage. And I am being called. I just saw a wonderful video from Amethyst Ascension that she did two days ago called Social Media and Boundaries. And I'm kind of being called to do a VR. Just kind kind of to share my experiences. Um, I know that a lot of you, pardon me, my air plant is being all wacky jacked. Anyway, I know a lot of you know me from my previous YouTube experience. Um, I am no stranger to YouTube. I have been on YouTube from 2009 to about three years ago. I left about three years ago. Um, and that was because the drama at that time in the witchy community and the people that I was surrounding myself with and aligning with were not the best for me. And I was not in my best place either, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, whatever. I was not in the best of places either. So um, my experience on YouTube was just fucked up from the get-go, I guess. I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, um, social media can be a one is, in some respects, a wonderful platform. Because you're communicating with people that you thought were gone and, you know, you're able to touch base with people and blah, 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 you know, and that's wonderful. That's all well and good. But social media in and of itself can also be extremely detrimental. You know, uh oh, um, and I get that. Um, And for me, it's kind of, it, it can be both. I'm an empath, so I get a lot of, I give it out, but I also get it back. A lot of the chaos and a lot of the negativity and a lot of this and a lot of drama. And, you know, I used to be very dramatic. I used to be, you know, and I've, and there's people that will tell you that I haven't changed and that they only want to see the negative in me and they only want to see that I'm a, that I'm a taker and that I'm selfish and that I'm greedy and that I'm, I'm fake and, you know, to each their own. I don't care. I can finally say I don't care because what other people think of me is none of my business. I'm here back on YouTube and doing social media because I feel I have something legit to offer. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I feel I have something to offer, and I feel I have some some things to share. Um, I have been on this path for a very long time, and no, I'm not bragging, which people will say. I've been doing this for 35 years. Um, but I am always learning and I am always growing and I am always here to learn and to grow. I'm here to offer what I know. I'm not here to teach. I'm not here. I'm just here to offer my opinion and what works for me and you can take it or leave it. You know, I mean, there are people out there that will latch on to you and they're, they're psychic vampires and they're so, you know, they will suck you dry. And, um, but you have to, you have to be aware. You have to be hyper vigilant uh, almost when it comes to social media. You have to be hyper aware. You have to, you have to be able to deflect ground center, you know, 
stuff stuff along those lines and a lot of that is easier said than done and it's taken me years to be able to be able to do that um and um but it's also learning about who you're aligning with you know i mean <sighs> Anybody who subscribed to me, I used to be Dairy Sinowich Carpenter. I'm no longer on that channel. I used to have 550 followers, and they only followed me to see the drama. Because when I would get drama, I would give it. I was dumb enough to give it back. I would stir the pot. They would give it to me. I would stir it back. And I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore. That's not who I am. I have learned some lessons, and I'm still learning. You're always learning and you're always growing, but I've learned that that's not who I want to be anymore. I don't want to be bringing drama to this platform. I don't want to be bringing chaos and, you know, I want to bring love and creativity and knowledge and hope and support. And that's where I align. That's, that's what I want to align with. Um... I feel like I am as real, raw, and authentic as I can be. Um, there's going to be people out there that will tell you I'm a liar. There's going to be people out there that will tell you that I'm fake, that, that I'm not a witch because I'm a Christian and a witch, and you can't be both. And blah, blah. My thing is, you know what? Form your own opinion. I don't care if it's your dad, your mother, your sister, your husband, whatever. I don't care who it is that tells you this. Form your own opinion. And I am always open for questions. If you have a question about me, please come to me. Don't go to somebody else. I mean, that's, that's just as simple as, as I can make it. You know, you want to know me personally? You want to know Derry Carpenter? Come to me. Don't go to everybody else and be like, oh, well, how's this and what's this? and what? That's not, that's not the way to get to know me on a human level. You know, it's just... And I'm not going to lie. I used to be that person. I used to lie. I used to, you know, be needy and greedy and be like, oh, well, I'm only in it because I want to be like this person and I want to, you know, I want what this person has. And I'm like... I don't want to do that. That's just a waste of my time and it's a waste of my space and it's a waste of my energy. I want to get what I give back. I want to get what I give, you know, like I want to reap what I sow. And I said this in a video yesterday for the uh, community vlogmas. If I give out negativity and drama and chaos, I'm going to reap it back. I'm going to get it back tenfold. I don't want to do that. That's not what I'm about. I am about watching this community grow in positivity and in, in gratitude and in love and, in, and, and, you know, that's where I want to be. That's where I want to align. That's what I want to give back to this community is my love and my support. And I want to be your cheerleader when you have um, a good day. I want to be your support system when you have a bad day. I want to be that shoulder that you can lean on and say, hey, I'm having a bad day. What do I do? You know, because I know that I will reap that in return. You know, and that's, that's what I want. Um, and that's why for about six months, I left Facebook and YouTube. I took a social media break and, or a most social media break. And I realized that, yes, I'm very active on Facebook. Yes, I'm very active on, on YouTube. Yes, I'm very active on Instagram. But Instagram, like they all have their crazy algorithms and you're not being seen and that, you know, I, but for me, Instagram is just a much more helpful and aligning and peaceful and wonderful platform. Whereas Facebook is politics and drama and chaos and, you know, and I don't, 
I get on Facebook and I get in my groups and I do my pages and I do what I'm supposed to do and then I get off and go over to YouTube or go over to Instagram or I'm I'm off uh, or I'm off and you know usually on my phone I'm I'm here in my witchy space and I'm creating and I'm pet like today I'm gonna be my my YouTube and Facebook and stuff will be on but it'll be on in the background because I've got orders to pack up I've got you know, stuff to get out for Yule. I'm crafting. I'm getting stuff, pr Yule presents done. I'm packing up orders that have to go out by Yule. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm a, I'm a stay at home mom. I'm a witch. I'm a wife. I'm a, you know, I'm busy. I'm a grandma. I've got stuff to do, but you know, I just don't have time for the drama and the K and I don't want it. I mean, but I am, I am definitely here if you have questions, if you have concerns, please just come to me and say, hey, I have this concern, or I heard this about you, or I heard this, or I, d d d d d d d d d form your own opinion. You know, that's all I can say is don't listen to, you know, just, just don't fall into that trap, just, just be separate and form your own opinion. You know, that's the best way to deal with social media. And in terms of boundaries, my boundaries are up. I have some pretty strong, and I was never one to have boundaries. I'm an open book, but I've also realized through the years that being an open book is also very detrimental to me, to my health, to my psyche, to just, to just everything. So I've had to implement some boundaries and, you know, if, if you're going to be rude, if you're going to be disrespectful, if you're going to make fun of me, you know, I, I just don't have time for it. If you're going to, if you're coming here to give me drama, report, block, delete, and move on. I just, I don't want it. I don't want it in my realm. I don't have time for that in my realm. I just don't. But if you are here because you want to, you are curious about my journey, if you're curious about anything, if you're here to support and to love and to learn and to grow and to pass on your knowledge, I'm all for it. You know, but that's just my personal opinion. And that's the thing is I'm not going to be one to follow, follow the leader. I'm not a sheep. I'm not a sheep. I'm not going to sit there and follow the leader. I'm just like, nope, sorry. I'm going to be off doing my own thing in my own little rainbow-tastic, in my own little rainbow-tastic little realm. And you know what? You can take it or leave it. I've had so many people say to me, oh, you use color pages in your, in your, in your grimoire. You're not a witch. You're not a witch. You're fake. Oh, you have to ask friends for herbs or you have to buy herbs. You're, you're a fake witch. You can't grow... I have a black thumb. Of course I can't grow herbs. And I can't have a garden because our landlord won't let us have one. Oh, I like the rainbow, so I can't be a witch. Or, I'm a Christian, so I can't be a witch. Who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? I'm a human being. I will do what I want to do when I want to do it. And, you know what? Witchcraft is witchcraft. There's so many different colors and, you know, and, and titles. And I'm not one for titles. I'm not one for labels. I'm not one for titles. You know, that's one of the biggest questions that I get asked and I get pressured until I give them a title and I have a title. I just don't use it because I don't like it. I'm just dairy. I'm literally just dairy. Yeah. I'm a spirit mama. Yeah. I love the rainbow. You know, if you think of the rainbow and I come to your mind, that's great. You know, but just, I guess my thing is to just be you and be you as real, raw, and authentic. And if people cannot handle the good, the bad, and the ugly about you, then they have no, they have no business being in your realm. Because there's, you're not going to always slap a smile on your face. There may be days that I come on YouTube and I'm furious and I might be ranting and raving and screaming and yelling. There might be days I come on YouTube and I'm a bawling, crying mess. There might be YouTube, there might be days that I'm like happy and cheery and that's life. That's literally life. 
you know, and it's like, I'm not a persona. I'm not going to come on here and be like, oh, well, this is who I am on social media, but this is who I am in real life. That's one of the biggest compliments that I've ever gotten from people that have met me in real life is the fact that what you see on camera is what you get in real life. And that to me is a big compliment. So, but again, that's just my opinion and everybody have a great day and I will talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.